I'm probably going to stumble over a lot of what I'm saying right now. I'm having a very difficult time wording, but at the very least, I can let you all know that my name is Shane. Hello, everybody out there. And today I am unboxing Lit Joy Crates Magical Edition Year 6. I'm so excited to finally unbox this thing. I've been waiting a few weeks. <laughs> Things have been getting in the way of me doing this. But now is the time. It is finally time for me to open this puppy up. Uh, I've managed to avoid a lot of what's been posted online about the contents of the box. There are a few things I've seen a little out of context, so I'm hoping it's not um, too much. But yes, I did see it quite some stuff, but not too bad. It was like a glance and I was like, oh no, keep scrolling, type of thing. So here we go. Uh, but before we do this, I did want to talk about the new packaging on this box. Normally it's a, um, a simple brown box with the same Lit Joy Crate Magical Year, Magical Edition uh, stamp on it. But this time around, they have uh, a few additions here. It's a green box now and there are images from the story that are included, such as the necklace that Katie Bell uh, was cursed by believe this should be the vanishing cabinet uh Dumbledore and Harry and these the infierni that attack them at the lake it's honestly even just before I'm opening it it's a beautiful box and I love that they've added these like moments from the story into it so it's just another uh it's a special touch that I really appreciate and I'm looking forward to getting into this box now it's been few weeks so I'm super excited to finally be able to see what's in here all right so excited. okay uh, I believe this should be the uh, the spoiler uh, package that says that tells us what everything is in here so I'm just gonna save that for a little bit later and first up do we have it looks like a tote <gasps> it's the boy's friend George Greg and Forge as Molly likes to call them Weas Weasley's wizard wheezies it's adorable I love it little pygmy puff in the corner just holding on there I really fever fudge puking pasties the extendable ears. I'm loving this coat. I am so glad I didn't see this anywhere in my scrollings. So one really cool thing about this is that there's a little pocket in here. So if you need to put your phone or your keys somewhere where it's not going to be at the bottom with the rest of the crumbs from the cookies that I typically put in my bags. Um, this is really cool. I, I'm loving this one. I can't wait to use it. Okay. Next. Oh. We have a pygmy puff. They're so cute. The perfect pet for any student. Warning, while you are sleeping, pygmy puffs may attempt to eat your earwax with their long tongues. Um, I can't be mad at that. I mean, helping me with my personal hygiene, that's cool. I can go with it. Uh, so caring for your pygmy puff, name your pygmy puff. Every pygmy puff needs a name and naming your puff will help with bonding. And it does include a few more instructions like feeding, how to feed it, preparing a shelter for it, and how to play with it. This thing is so cute. I can't wait to have this hanging. Okay. Next we have a Mortentia Love Potion. It's, I think it should be like a bath scrub. It looks like it would be a bath scrub. The bottle on it is really cute. It does follow the heart theme of Amortentia, which is a love potion. I believe it was Romilda Vane that had plans for Harry, but it happened to fall on Ron. Darn his stomach and those chocolates. This is really cute. I want to see. I wonder. Oh, okay. It's a candle. Okay. Perfect. And it smells like grapefruit. It's a light citrusy scent, so that's really nice. And there's a bit of glitter in there too, but this bottle is really cute. Might even just stick you up there in my red theme box. Okay, 
moving on to the next item. I like that there are a bunch of little boxes inside of boxes. Anytime I have to unbox a box within a box. Is that right? Unboxing a box within a box. Yes. It's exciting for me because then it's just another little, it's like the present that keeps on giving. Because you never know what you're going to get. And this one. <laughs> it's a, um. It says, Farewell Aragog, King of Arachnids. And it has a little uh, spider version, a little tiny version of Aragog on it. And I believe this should be like a little butterbeer uh, glass. I'm not sure. I can probably, I can probably use this for a lot of things. Right now I'm thinking I can probably use this to hold the chalk on my desk. I have the pieces for my little chalkboard. That might be nice. It's a really cute piece. One moment. From book six. Okay. Next, we have another little box. If this is what I think it is, I'm dying. I'm dying. <gasps> okay. It is. <laughs> I love this so much. So I've seen these online um, and they're these little music boxes. I believe that's what this should be. It's a music box where when you wind it up, it should play a song from Harry Potter. This one does have a phoenix emblazoned on it. Uh... Yes, it is a phoenix. And then when you open it up, it says the ones that love us never really leave us. And so let's just give this a little crank. dying. I've been eyeing these things and I'm so happy that this was included in this box. This is skyrocketed to the top of my list. It's taken over my boys. Friend George. I still love them. I'll always love them. Ah, uh, so this one's sticking out to me a little bit right now. It might be part of a two set. Okay, maybe I'll save this for the last. Hmm. Okay, we'll put that one to the side. Uh, next up, we have a pin from Dust and Pages. It looks like, and this is the pin. It looks like around it, it's a blue swirl, and it says into the pen sieve. So this should be, oh, and right next to it is Dumbledore's wand, the elder, what we now know as the Elder Wand, that man and his secrets. So it looks like, I feel like it, I want to say, let me open this up. You might even be able to turn it. It does, this piece does turn, but I wonder if it lifts or anything like that. Okay, it might not. It might just swirl kind of like that um, when you're going into a memory and the it starts to, the, the liquid in there starts to swirl, which is really cute. And I love this. And this is by, um, this is a Lit Joy Crate exclusive by Dust and Pages. So this is really cute. I love pins. Adding to my collection continually. And here, oh, okay. The next item we have is the Gaunt family ring and it is a phone stand. So I believe it works like a pop socket where you can just lock it onto the back of your phone. Yes. Yes, it should um, lock onto the back of your phone and then you can actually use this little ring part to, um, instead of 
holding around the pop socket itself, you can just slip a finger through the ring and then uh, essentially hold on to one of the Deathly Hallows, which is super cool. And it says the ring must be destroyed in order to be to defeat Lord Voldemort. First, though, it maybe uses a phone stand, which is super cute. And I'm loving that. As far as pop sockets go, I don't have one yet on my phone, but I think that one would be a really nice addition. Pretty unique, too. I don't think I've seen very many people with something like that. I think I did see that one somewhere when I was scrolling on the internet, but so far I'm really glad I had not seen the majority of these items. So I'm super excited. This, okay. I'm wondering if this might be linked. So right now I'm looking at, let me get it out of its little packaging. I'm looking at this stand here. I'm just gonna set that down and I think that this little green box should go along with it. I'm thinking it's stamped with Lit Joy Crate. It has like a wood uh, pattern on it for the texture. And so um, at the top it says, to the Dark Lord, I know I will be dead long before you read this, but I want you to know that it was I who discovered your secret. I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. I face death in the hope that when you meet your match, you will be mortal once more. And that is R-A-B. And we do have the locket. So that's super cute. I think it does kind of go with this one. Possibly. We'll see. Maybe. Um... that out. So another one of the horcruxes that Harry has to find along the way. I'm trying to pop it open. I hope I don't break it. Ah, okay, got it. So it does work as a locket where you can put something in there, maybe a crumpled little note to the Dark Lord, your little love letter that you want to put in there, but it is an adorable little piece. Uh, this is the locket. I'd like to add this one. I could wear this one right now. In my little Hufflepuff yellow. I am a Ravenclaw, just so you know. Just putting it out there. Okay, so it might not be part of this piece right here. So it could be this other one, which I believe I did see online. It's in this last box here. This is our last little box to unbox within the box. And it says this is the property of the Half-Blood Prince. I want a copy of this book, for real. It is advanced potion, ma advanced potion making. And when you open it up, It's a little holder for your own file of Felix Felicius. And let me just pop this one out. Yeah. This one I did see when I was scrolling around. But luckily I scrolled past it really fast. So I can still say that this is a surprise. So. Okay, locks into place. And you can just have it just like that. That's so cute. It has little uh, gold beads in there to simulate the potion that Harry wins after obtaining this little beauty with our own Severus Snape's notes in there. And it is the definitive guide oh, to antidotes and elixirs now updated to include the latest innovations in potion making. What they don't know is that our little Half-Blood Prince added his own little notes with some uh, spells all included. And so I think we're down to our last item. Ooh, oh, no, there's more. Okay, cool. I love it when 
There's just more stuff in here. Okay. Ooh, sorry, glasses logging. This one. It's a book sleeve and it has, oh, it's Draco Malfoy standing in front of the vanishing cabinet in, I'm, in the room of requirement. We do see other little characters popping in there. We have Dobby at the bottom hiding under his many hats and I think it's Hagrid. Hagrid hiding in the corner too. This is really cute. And I feel like, let's see what we can grab here. This one can fit, at the very least, your standard, I wouldn't say this is standard, maybe a YA size book. It's all the boys I've loved before. It can fit that and probably something a little bit bigger too. So this is, I can't get enough of book covers. I always like to shove a few books in my bag, so I'm always lugging around at least 10 pounds. But this is another really cute one that I'm ready to add into my little Weas Weasley's Wizard Weezes bag. Yes! Awesome. Okay. Um, next is a portrait of our favorite headmaster. Uh, doesn't say who it's by. No, nothing on the back. It should have it in the guide to the box. But in addition, we do have these book magnets. One with <laughs> lavender brown. And I believe, oh, I'm blanking on his name. The one that Harry has to recruit for Dumbledore. He turned into a, it's the moment where he turns into a couch. <sighs> Slughorn, yes, Slughorn, part of the Slug Club. So there's that moment where he is hiding from Death Eaters as a uh, couch. And then we have a an ornament from the Weasleys. It says, Happy Christmas from the Burrow. And it looks like it's a house elf, an angry little house elf, or a gnome even, um, just, you know, as their, their Christmas topper. That's really cute. We have a few more items in here. We have our cards. Okay, so we do have Dumbledore, Severus Snape, an older teen Tom Riddle, very moody. Ginny Weasley with her little pygmy puff. We, did we ever find out what the name of the pygmy puff was? According to our instructions, we should be naming our puffs in order to bond with them. So I guess I'll reread that. Uh, Draco Malfoy. And this should be Slughorn as well. I'm really used to seeing the actor portrayal of Slughorn. So it's a little different seeing this version of him. Still good though, as the Joker. There's a little bottle of Felix Felicis. See what else we have. Um, another little envelope sleeve here. Okay, it's a little stiff, so I don't want to break it. My, my evil queen, my evil heart. Uh, one Bellatrix Lestrange wood bookmark. Uh, she's, the spell coming out of her wand looks a little green, so she's probably in the midst of casting an Unforgivable. And on the back side of it is the moment where Narcissa and Snape have to make the unbreakable, unbreakable vow in the beginning of the story. This one's really cute. I'm loving this one. It's very sturdy. 
and this artwork is amazing. Bellatrix is frightening and beautiful in all of her evil glory, but you gotta love her. She's a great villain, even though she killed my serious Black. And so finally, we have a little silver envelope with this purple seal and loving these colors. Uh, and it's on the seal, it's Professor Slughorn with a cauldron brewing. So let me, I don't want to break the seal. I mean, you do have to break it to open it, but I don't want to tear it. Ooh. Hold on. This is very sticky. Okay. If there was another way to open this without damaging it, I wish I knew. Okay, it's not too bad. Minimal. But it does stick a little it does stick a little bit, so it will tear up the little paper. So fancy. Okay, so I am now in receipt a few months early. I'll still go. I like it. It says, you are cordially invited to a Christmas party hosted by Professor H.E.F. E. Slughorn, December 20th at 8 o'clock p.m. The party will take place in Professor Slughorn's office at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And this is a beautiful little card. You can see that there. Silver foiling. I could probably add this to some of my... I'm trying to build... A uh, little collection of all my paper recreations for stuff. Um, trying to put that together, but this is a really beautiful um, recreation of the invitation from the story. Uh, so that is it for this box. I love this box. Judging by my facial expressions, you probably, you guys probably know what my favorite was. A little hard though, they're all really cute. Um, I'm torn. Love pygmy puffs. I love book covers. Let's put this one right here. Beautiful. Uh, but overall, I'm gonna have to say that I'm really, really excited for this little baby here. I've been eyeing these online and I was hoping to purchase one and now I have one of my very own in a close second, maybe even tied for first, is going to be this bag with the Weasleys on it because who doesn't love these boys? They were um, some of my favorite characters. So yes, this was my, um, this was the LaJoy Crate, uh, Year, Magical Year Edition 6. As of the recording for this, the year 7.1 is already available, or has been available actually, for quite some time now for a uh, pre-order. And uh, we're all going to be looking forward to that. I'm super excited. This was a great box. They have, Literary Crate is always stepping up their items in here. And I'm loving, oh, that's right. I'm loving everything that they've curated for this year. So this is the... Uh, little guide to what's been included in the box it says beware protect your home and family from death eaters it's very important to know because you don't want a death eater in the family or attacking your family um i did want to point out who okay so the bag was created the art is by melody howe and her information is included in here the one I really want to see. Ah, it's the, the song. I was trying to figure out the song from the box, from the musical box. It's called the Phoenix Lament Music Box. And let's see. It doesn't exactly state the name of the song. Uh, but yeah, overall, this was an amazing box. And I'm looking forward to everything that Let Joy Crate puts together. But I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you guys had any favorites and uh, looking forward to it. And hopefully next time I'll have a better control over my wording capabilities because, as you know, when it's hot, I can't word. All right. Thanks. Bye.